Hello friends, this is Praveen and we are developing our news feeder project. So this is a Java web application and I have created this application using Maven and I have already provided POM dependencies. You can see here we will use MongoDB for storing our feeds and we will use ROM library. So if we come across any other dependency, we will provide that also. Right now, I just want to create one starter listener, web listener, so that we can check whether our application is working or not. And let me implement. Charlotte context listener so implement all methods and this I'll So just removing this line and so just giving one printout statement system dot out print ln and app is starting I'm copying this and I'm pasting here also and here I'm giving app is shutting down or closing what we want to say okay so let us add glassfish server with this project so it's already added here and let us run this so just clean and build So now Maven is downloading some required repositories. So I think it will take time. So until this finishes, I'm just pausing the video. So it has Maven has built var file of our project and now you can run this on Glassfish server. So after clean and build, Maven build up, when it finishes, I'm just running it on the server. So you can see server is getting started. You can see this information, your server is getting started. And you can see our message also just a minute we, we provided this message so app is starting so it means your application is starting it is deploying app is starting and your app is deployed so now what we have to do we can create managed server executor service so just go to localhost for it for it and 
you can see if your glassfish server is running you can access glassfish servers admin website admin web page at uh, localhost for it for it port number this is the default port number and this is the hello world coming from our web application so in our web application if you see the file index.xml so this is coming it as workshop if i save this and so your glass fish will catch this and it will refresh this now you can see so you don't need to run again your application if you do some changes glass fish automatically recognizes that and it deploys that change so now you see instead of hello world it is showing hello ITS workshop and here what I'm, I'm going to do I'm creating creating one manage scheduler executor service so manage scheduled executor service you can create just by clicking here uh, I think managed scheduled executor service so it is runtime exception I think this is uh, one bug in glassfish recent version 4.1 so in next video we would like to solve this problem or we would like to create this service uh, through command line also so that's it for now and you can stop your application from here so if deployment is stopping so now you can see your app is shutting down that same message what we have provided here so we created one web listener that is uh, our class is implementing satellite context listener and it in has got two methods context initialized and context destroyed so initialized the stuff while starting your server your de while, de while deploying your application and this is while closing your application or shutting down your application so thank you for watching in next tutorial we would like to create manage scheduled executor service and we would like to use that thank you